Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather week ahead for today's Spur video. So as also on Saturday, we're doing your weekend forecast and uh, I shall get on with that for you in a moment. It's going to be a week of two hearts. More about that in a second. Uh, just say that the uh, first video release was our 7 a.m. forecast. We've also released the ECM WF42 day forecast. If all well, that wasn't enough, we've got a 10 to 14 day coming up for you in an hour or so. It's time. Please like, share, subscribe on all our videos. You can search doing that. Hope you're having a lovely Saturday despite the weather. It's a bit grim out there. So let's have a look at radar picture from the weather outlook. Well, it's not been too bad across much of Scotland, especially central and northern parts of Scotland have been mainly dry. And Northern Ireland has kept in uh, more showery conditions in the main. But uh, through southern Scotland, down through northern England, and particularly down into central, southern and southwestern parts of England, it's been tipping down with rain all morning, pouring down and uh, this heavy rain on a developing area of low pressure is pushing north eastwards as well. So although these east areas have been mainly dry up to now, the rain is advancing in. And some of this rain, as we can see from the radar image here at Weather Outlook, is uh, very heavy and persistent, particularly so down across the south and the southwest. Uh, so here's today's toxic pressure chart. Low pressure is coming in off the Atlantic. That's bringing this heavy rain. And on the far southern southeast side of this low pressure, I've got some very tight fat ice bars, which will bring gale force winds into the extreme southeast of the country. So, through the rest of today, we're going to find heavy outbreaks of rain spreading northeast. Well, it's almost anywhere it could get wet weather uh, today, but the heaviest rain, I think, will be across southern, southeast areas through this afternoon. And then by the ceiling, getting in towards eastern parts of uh, Scotland as well. Other areas will have wet weather, wet weather through the Midlands, wet weather through much of northern England too. Uh, and the winds are going to become really strong down across the far south. We could see gusts of wind through the channel and just clipping into southeast corner, uh, reaching around 60 or 70 miles an hour by the end of the afternoon. Otherwise, in the centre of the low pressure, actually, winds won't be particularly strong, but we will, of course, have the outbreaks of rain. Western Scotland and Northern Ireland will sort of brighten up this afternoon, and uh, there'll be some blustery showers coming through there. Temperatures today are going to be ranging from around 9 to 15 degrees. That's 48 to uh, 59 Fahrenheit. It will feel quite cold where we have uh, the outbreaks of rain, of course. Overnight tonight, that low pressure will push away uh, to our northeast and will go into a showering uh, westerly wind. So the outbreaks of rain, persistent rain, will clear away quite quickly through the evening, but could continue for a while across the eastern parts of the extreme southeast of England. But generally, most areas will uh, will dry out through the course of tonight and uh, we'll find clear spells spreading in from the west. But there will be blustery showers in the west being brought in on these pretty strong uh, westerly winds. Temperature is going to take a little bit of a tumble tonight as well. So uh, we're going to be going down to around just 2 to uh, 8 degrees across most parts of the country. Cold enough for ground frost in these Scottish glens. The far southeast corner with more cloud and rain probably taking a while to clear from the southeast corner probably holds up with temperature at around 10 to 12. But otherwise we tumble down into single digits quite widely through the course of tonight. Tomorrow we're in a, a straightforward run of westerly winds. So it really is a case of sunshine and showers. Uh, really the showers might merge into longer spells of rain across northern and northwestern parts gone otherwise it's sunshine and showers of west and just one or two showers getting through to the east many east areas will stay dry temperatures tomorrow are going to be ranging from around 10 to 16 that's 50 to 61 in fahrenheit through into monday a developing area of low pressure will start to spread in from off the atlantis off pushing off the atlantic spreading in some outbreaks of rain so we'll have sunshine and showers uh, really on uh, Monday, many of the showers in the north and west, probably not too many in the east and south. Then by the end of the day, we'll find showers merging into longer spells of rain through Ireland, Wales and southwestern England. And some of that uh, rain could be quite heavy. Temperatures on Monday again range around 10 to 16 degrees. It'll turn very wet overnight, uh, Monday to Tuesday with this area of low pressure moving through across England and Wales. So Tuesday starts on a wet note through much of England and Wales with heavy and persistent outbreaks of rain. But rain could get a bit stuck across northern and eastern parts of England. Otherwise, England and Wales will brighten up uh, with sunny spells, but still blustery showers. Scotland and Northern Ireland tend to miss out most of this wet weather. Uh, just a few showers uh, up there. But still an unsettled day on Tuesday. Temperatures won't got persistent rain, only ranging from around sort of 10, 11, 12 degrees. Otherwise, if a sunny spell, it's probably up to around 15 or 16 degrees. Not too bad.
And then changes into agency that low pressure will move away to the east. High pressure will start to ridge up from the southwest. This could change in the second half of next week, where it does obviously so we're going to go back into high pressure. So uh, Wednesday could start cloudy, damp, maybe some mist and fog patches around in places. Most of that should clear away, and uh, sunny spells will develop widely, I think, across England and Wales, where Scotland and Northern Ireland might keep it quite cloudy. Temperatures again range around 10 to 16, possibly up to 17 degrees. High pressure, well and truly dominating weather. By the time we get through to Thursday, so yes, we're back to uh, September's weather, although not quite as warm, but we are back to the high pressure domination. Western Scotland and Northern Ireland will have cloud and uh, patchy outbreaks of rain, otherwise a mostly dry day on Thursday. Watch out for some patchy mist and fog. Some quite dense fog patches are possible early and late, and one or two of those could linger on through much of the day, say through the Vale of York, for example. Where that happens, temperatures could be quite cold and around... 10 or 11 degrees, but otherwise the sunshine, I reckon we'll see a temperature to 17, maybe even 18 degrees, going to mid 60s Fahrenheit. And then into Friday, high pressure again, remaining in control of weather sitting over and to the east of the country. Loads of dry weather, plenty of sunny spells, but again, we will have those missing fog patches developing early and late, and one or two fog patches might linger on throughout the day. Uh, where that happens, it'll be quite a cold day on Friday, but otherwise in sunshine, relatively warm. Might get quite chilly, though, on Friday night. And then into the weekend, high pressure remains in control of weather over and to the east of the country, both through Saturday and through Sunday, although by Sunday possibly weakening weak the ridge a little bit. But the weekend looking mostly dry and fine with uh, sunny spell, but also overnight mist and fog. And uh, weather fog blinkers will be quite cool, otherwise a relatively warm weekend coming up. Just have a look at the charts wherever out. So obviously we've got plenty of rain around today. It is a wet and uh, windy day, especially so down in the south. Into uh, Sunday, uh, we're looking at more in way of sunshine and showers. Really, that carries on into Monday. And then on Tuesday, we have more general outbreaks of rain focused on England and Wales overnight Monday into Tuesday. That rain could take a while to ease down. Uh, northern and western areas staying mostly dry. And then by the time we get through to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we're going back to high pressure. Lots of dry weather, plenty of sunshine. What this doesn't show, of course, is where we have a risk of some dense mist and fog patches lingering on into uh, the day. Right then, so in summary, it really is a week of two halves. The first half of the week is going to be unsettled with uh, spells of rain and relatively cool temperatures as well. Uh, from the middle of the week onwards, high pressure returns. We go mainly dry and uh, temperatures will start to become warmer in the sunshine. But nights could be chilly due to the lateness of the year. And uh, yeah, we might have some fog patches as well. And if they form and linger, then temperatures will be colder uh, by day. Right, so uh, that's it for your weekend broadcast. We'll be back shortly with 10 to 14 days. It's going to include all our break features. Come back for that then. Uh, for weekend broadcast for this week, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.